Hey everybody, welcome back to Galaxy 4. We've had three episodes of this about a month and a half ago, two months ago. Um, but now we are here on full release, 1.0 on the Epic Store. It hasn't come to Steam yet, I think it will come to Steam at some point. Uh, but right now, it's not on Steam, and you have to buy it on Epic. It's $49.99 to get the full game. No, there's no DLC uh, at the moment, so you just get... Your normal stuff. We're going to be playing as... I think we're going to play as the, um... I played as your... Did I play as your last time? I don't know. I don't remember when I, who I played as last time. I think it was this guy. The Torian Regime. But nonetheless, we're going to play as uh, the Your Singularity. We'll leave our points the same. We're just going to leave all this stuff the same for the moment. Next. Several sectors. Starting sector size large. Star frequency co uh, common. Yeah. Planets abundant. Common. We're going to turn each. Uh, extreme planets. We'll leave those as occasional. Hostile entities will leave all that the same. Minor races will leave all the same. Common. 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 We'll turn all of this up. Because I like to have a little more frequency. Galaxy difficulty easy. Civilization proximity. Game pick normal. Research rate normal. Next. And we'll just leave. We'll have 16 players. All of these will be uh, one and one, uh, one of us and 15 of the rest. So we'll keep that even at 16. Building galaxy. So I guess in order, uh, as usual, uh, thanks to Stardock for the review code on this game. I've been playing it a bunch off camera, like in between the series. Uh, but I didn't want to start another series for now because, well, there was a lot of betas. There was a lot of things going on that made me have to restart my worlds. And there were comments saying the same thing, like the same thing. So there, I, I think my thinking was, okay, let's wait till... Um, for release and then we'll come back all right so the your artificial beings originally service of an ancient species known as the iconian granted since by the dreadlords the your turned against their iconian creators apparently wiping them from the face of the galaxy whether due to some hidden command of the dreadlord or simply from applying the cold to the logic the your have since become viciously xenophobic and now despise all biological life form capable of long-term planning and surprising decree of cunning the your often speak with and negotiate with organic beings those beings should understand that this is nothing but a short-term ploy and that their new friends will never rest until they and all other organic life are destroyed. The Yor are highly productive and capable of building large fleets of self-repairing vehicles. They're profoundly unpopular and few races opt to befriend them. Unlike organic races, their growth rate is a function of production capacity. So they're a more economic operations sieve. Which I think that really fits with me after the last couple last semester or two of college I've had. Alright, so here we go. This is this is the game. This is what the game looks like now. It looks amazing. I'm playing on a 1440p monitor, so it looks even even cooler. Um so let's just go ahead and get into where's our where's our surveyor? Um That's a research anomaly. But 
Go to Xeno Archaeology Module or any nearby star base to study this precursor relic. Okay. Okay. All right, let's go into our research tree. So we have star bases. Uh, that's no brainer. It's already researching it for us. It takes 18 uh, things. So we're going to research star bases. That'll be done in three turns, and then we can start taking care of these anomalies and working on all of that. So let's set that to star bases. So advisors, order the ship. We are to construct a new colony ship. Let's just do that because we can easily colonize. Uh, where is our shipyard? There it is. So we want to build the seed. It's going to take nine turns to do. That's not ideal, but you know what? Assign a leader to an available command ship. Do we have... Okay, we don't have any more movement speed. I see that down there. Um, I was going to go ahead and do that this turn, but we don't have enough movement speed. We do that next turn, though. It's not a big deal. Um, Ipsy policy slot. Extreme automation, which is plus 50 manufacturing, minus 20% gross income, 10% influence growth, 10% gross income. Plus five gross income, thirty percent pollution. Plus one moves on the remote piloting or the security lights. Let's do the um, heart of the empire. All right, idle core worlds. We have available projects we can do. Down here, that's the manufacturer population with our Durantium or our economic stimulus. Let's go ahead and do the planes and let's build approval plus three plus one percent crime, six percent gross income, pollution. Let's do the financial district. We need a little extra income. We're getting how much income a turn? Five. That's no, no, not good. A nice little probe down here. Let's just move you. You can move a lot. That's all you can move, and that's the end of our first turn. So we have executive orders available to enact. Can do draft colonists, telescope takeover, reveal an area of the map, or print money. That's that's gonna cause inflation. Not gonna do that, I'm not gonna make that mistake. For now, if we get into a really bad situation, we might have to, but if I can avoid inflation, we're gonna avoid inflation, right? Alright, so telescope takeover. Reveal an area of the map. We're going to do that executive order. So let any tile to use the power.
Did I just waste that? Alright, shush. I totally didn't just waste that. Shush. That's going to survey for us. Is that a black hole? Antimatter? Is that a black hole? Yes, it is. I knew I wasn't stupid. It's a black hole. Alright. So we have a black hole right next to us. We got nebulas right next to us. Uh, I don't know. I guess this is a nebula too. Yeah. Illyrium within a nebula. It's going to drop our moves, but we probably should get the Illyrium. Next turn. Assign a leader to an available commander ship. I don't have any leaders. We can recruit some leaders for an arm and a leg. 23 loyalty, 74 loyalty. I don't want Anko or An D A A N K D is responsible for their father's death. Um, I don't want that on my conscience. Uh, spent their entire life chasing means of achieving more immortality. I'm gonna spend the money. Endless Zeros now has a commander with 37 hit points. All right, you're stuck there for another two months. It's our pro. I'm just moving you guys at a random place. Alright. Move endless zeros, and that's all we can do this turn. Because this guy is stuck in the nebula. All right, research complete. Star bases. No mere outposts in orbit. A star base is an extension of our very civilization, containing everything that makes us who we are, including, not incidentally, our incredible defensive and shipbuilding capacity. So we can do armed shuttles. We can do hyperwave radio to allow instant communication across infinite distances, allow enabling more direct control. Asteroid mining allows us to start building asteroid miners. Boost our world's manufacturing, provides two free asteroid miners, or planetary adapt adaptation, uh, improves the quality of our world. So we're at a three-way crossroads that I think th three things here that are very useful. I don't want to do this one yet. One of these three will be very useful. So, the arm shuttles will be militaristic. This would be cultural, and this would be research, like scientific and economic, because we could start manufacturing that helps us economically. Considering all three of these are going to take three turns, let's do asteroid mining. That makes sense economically for us to do right now.
So we have a constructor ship. All right, we can't do it where I thought we were going to be able to do it yet, but. Oh, hello. We battle for more than planets. If we are to thrive, we must claim space itself and the precious resources to survive, provide. Current constructors were used to build star bases, military star bases, support our fleets, and protect our borders. Economic star bases boost nearby worlds and communication services and our borders. Oh, hello, Skeptrum. Your commander ship, so let's keep... I want to keep you around. Can't build that there. Hmm. First starbase completed. I cost starbase. I think that's the point to wrap up this episode. So we're gonna go and wrap it up here. If you enjoyed, just leave a like on it, subscribe, turn notification, and I'll see you next time for more Galaxy Four.